Hi, and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be doing my February wrap-up and March TBR video. So despite the fact that I was very busy in the month of February, I know that I've slacked recently on videos and I apologize for that, I did manage to read a significant amount, so let's get started. The first book that I read during the month of February is I Was Here by Gail Foreman. This book is a story of a girl named Cody. And Cody has recently been separated from her best friend Meg. They both went off to college and she gets a call that her best friend Meg committed suicide. And this book is kind of Cody's journey of figuring out why this happened and kind of coming to terms with it. This was one of my most anticipated books of the year just because I absolutely adore Gail Foreman and everything she writes and I thought the topic sounded interesting. For me, I kind of had a love-hate relationship with this book. My main issue with it was that it was just so sad and I'm typically a person that kind of enjoys sad books but I felt like this one was just all so heavy and for me it was especially difficult to go through because I have struggled with some of the issues that are presented in this book and it kind of made it very hard to read for me. I do think however that other people would really enjoy this book. It was very well done and it dealt with a mental illness and suicide in a very good way. It didn't glorify it and I think it really kind of helped show how messy these things can be. I give this book four out of five stars. Again for me it was kind of just hard personally to get through. Next, I read Aristotle and Dante Di Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin O'Leary Science. Now, in case you guys did not know, this book is extremely, incredibly popular. It gets so many amazing reviews, and I wanted to read it just because I wanted to know what it's about. And I don't really want to give you too much of a summary because I think it is better to go into it blind, but it is the story of two boys, Benjamin, of two boys. This is the story of two boys, Aristotle and Dante, who become friends. And it kind of is a very character-driven book. Not a lot happens plot-wise. And unfortunately, I was a little bit disappointed with this book. I am a fan of character-driven books. However, this one just lacked a lot of plot. And I felt like there was not a lot of character development through the book. And I think with character-driven books, there should be a little bit of character development and kind of the big thing that happens at the end I wasn't that surprised by. So I ended up giving this book three out of five stars. I thought it was enjoyable. I understand why other people like it. It just wasn't my cup of tea. The next book that I read is The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand. This is another kind of heavy book about suicide. This book is about a girl whose brother commits suicide and he leaves a note kind of saying why he does it. And this one's really about her kind of coming to terms with it. This was another sad book and I enjoyed it, although I had some issues with it. My main issue was kind of how the main character was portrayed. The main character was kind of supposed to be the typical smart girl, and as someone who considers herself smart and hangs out with nerds, I felt like this portrayal was particularly awful. It made it seem like the character never gets out, never does anything fun, and all they all her and her friends do is sit and talk about math and I don't really think that's an accurate depiction of these types of people so I was a little miffed about that. Although I did think that by the end of this book it was so beautiful it just took a while to really get to the good part of the book. So I ended up giving this book three out of five stars. I thought it was a good portrayal of a very difficult issue. Next I read Crash by Nicole Williams. This is a new adult book that is a story of a girl named Lucy who is a dancer and she meets this really hot guy named Jude and they kind of are in a good girl bad boy romance. Really really did not enjoy this book. First of all I thought the writing was absolutely horrendous. It was just painful to read. It was just not well written in my opinion and I felt like it was very cliche. The thing with new adult books for me they're very hit and miss and I felt like this one it had a good premise it just was not particularly well executed and I ended up giving this a one out of five stars. I don't give many one stars just this book did not have a lot going for it. Didn't really like any of the characters when I was not particularly attached and I do not recommend this book. The next book that I read was Fairest by Marissa Meyer and this is kind of a companion 
slash part of the Lunar Chronicles series by Marissa Meyer. This book, or it's more of a novella, extended novella, I'd say. It follows the series villain, Queen Lavana, and kind of explores why she is the way she is. Now, me, I'm a huge fan of the villain stories. I just love villains with rich, tragic backstories. Those are often my favorite types of characters. So going into this book, I thought we were going to get this huge revelation about Lavana that she was just under misunderstood, or that something happened to make her the way she was. And I just didn't really get that in this book. I felt bad for Lavana. It just always seemed like she was a terrible person to me. And I'm not really a big fan of villains just that kind of just are the way they are. I was just really expecting more from this and I ended up giving it a 2 out of 5 stars just because I was not a huge fan of it. Next I read This Lullaby by Sarah Dessen. This is a reread for me. This is actually my favorite Sarah Dessen book. I have read them all. This one's my favorite. This book is the story of a girl named Remy and she just graduated high school and she is very excited to get out of her town and kind of move on with her life and she has always had this kind of philosophy that she didn't want to be in a serious relationship because she didn't want to have her heart broken and all of this changes when she meets Dexter who is this crazy different fun guy and Remy kind of finds herself questioning her standards. Now I absolutely adore this book. I am a lot like Remy when it comes to relationships so I think it's really fun to read about her and I just love all the characters and Sarah Dessen is just so great at writing amazing contemporaries. Five out of five stars. This is one of my favorite books and if you're looking to kind of start reading Sarah Dessen and don't know where to begin I would definitely recommend this book. Next, I read Last Year's Mistake by Gina Siaka, I believe. This was an arc that I got off of Edelweiss, but it does not come out until June. And it is the story of two best friends, and they're kind of harboring feelings for each other during their freshman and sophomore years of high school. But then something happens, the girl moves away, and two years later, the guy shows up at her school. So... I really enjoyed this book. It was kind of a lot like When Harry Met Sally, which is one of my favorite movies. It was also a lot like Better Off Friends by Elizabeth Yulberg, which I also enjoyed. My only main issue with this book was that it was a lot of angst, and I felt like a lot of things could have been solved if the characters just sat and talked it out. However, we wouldn't have a lot of the books that we have if characters just sat and talked it out. Gave this book 4 out of 5 stars, and closer to the book's release date, I will be having a full review on my channel. And finally, the last book that I read this month, I actually finished today, and I think it might have been my favorite book of the month, and that is I'll Meet You There by Heather Demetrios. Now, I have heard amazing things about this book, say, hearing that it was just such a fantastic contemporary, and I absolutely agree. This book is about a girl named Skylar, and she kind of lives in a dead-end town in California, and her goal is just to get out of her town. She doesn't want to be stuck there and end up like everyone else. And she works at this motel, and she, while there, she, one of her co-workers comes back from the war, and he has recently lost a leg. And they knew each other before, but this book is really about them and their friendship and how they kind of help heal each other and save each other. And this was just such a beautiful contemporary. I loved it. It wasn't particularly sad, although it was very deep and had a lot of meaning, and I just loved it so, so much. I love the characters, the story. Give this five out of five stars. This is definitely my favorite book of the month. Now, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be reading in March. Lately, I've kind of been having a different philosophy on the books I read. I'm not really having a TBR. I kind of just pick what I feel like reading and I feel like I've been having a lot of success with that. The only thing that I know I will be doing is my birthday is at the beginning of March. It's on March 6th and I always like reading books that I love on my birthday. So I definitely want to reread one of my favorite books. I'm not really sure which one yet. Could be Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins or I could go a little dark and go for some Jane Eyre. Not really sure yet but thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read read any of these books or let me know what you read or you plan to read. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you again soon.